So in this video, I want to show you how to connect to a Wi-Fi network uh, on your Yealink T53W. Got to zoom in here on the screen. Uh, for this video, I'll be using the up, down, left, right arrows and the OK button located uh, just to the left of the number keypad. Let me show you that real quick. So this is what I'll be using to navigate the screen. As we go through this, I'm just doing a close-up on the backlit screen so that it looks uh, as legible as possible. But I'll be using these keys here to navigate uh, the various menus as we go through. And then, of course, I'll be using the number keypad with lettering for entering the Wi-Fi password as we go. So let's go back to the screen and we'll go through the steps to connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is what you're probably going to see if you plug this phone up. This phone has been programmed already. It's already been uh, programmed to a phone system. So this is what you're going to see if you power the phone up but it doesn't have a Wi-Fi connection. In this case the Wi-Fi is turned on but you have the little X there next to the Wi-Fi icon indicating that it is not connected to a Wi-Fi network. The little caution type symbol to the right of it is a error that the phone doesn't have any connection to anything and it's not in a working condition. So we're going to press the menu button. It's this button just below the icon. We're going to scroll down to settings. We're going to hit OK. We're going to then hit basic settings, just hitting OK again. And then we're going to scroll down to Wi-Fi. And then you're going to see here that Wi-Fi is on. And there's the Wi-Fi status if it was connected. There's no networks and available networks. Available networks is what you're going to want and you're going to press the scan button. Again, it's the button right below that there. It's going to say that it's scanning and then it's going to come back to the screen. All you do now is hit OK on available networks and you're going to see a list of available Wi-Fi. This is just like you would encounter on a smartphone or a laptop where you've just got a list of connections. Of course, if you're connecting to a network with no password, you're just going to hit connect or hit OK right here. In this case, I'm, we're assuming that you're going to be adding this uh, to a secure network. We do recommend that. So you're going to pick whichever network. In this case, I'm picking my office network. I'm hitting the OK button and then I'm immediately presented with a password prompt. Uh, you can do this from the number pad. Uh, it, as you can see here, it defaults to using lowercase letters and as you press a button, let's say that my password started with the letter N as in Nancy, I would hit the number 6 key and you notice here I get several options and I could go through there and choose which one I want. If you mess up, you can delete and go back. If your password is all numbers, then you can press this here to go to, look there's all caps, there's a mixture of numbers, letters, and all and caps and then there's numbers only and then back to lowercase letters if that helps you. So I'm going to enter the password uh, but it's a fairly long password so I'm not going to bore you with that process. I'm going to pause this, enter my password and then we'll go from there. Alright so I have entered my password and then I'm just going to hit OK. Then you're going to see there's a check mark, mark next to the padlock there so that indicates that I have entered the password correctly. So, and you notice, uh, you see a couple of the BLF buttons here on the left turned green, meaning they're now subscribing and connecting to the phone system. So we are successfully connected. And if I just kind of hit the back button and exit, now I no longer have a no service message. My extension is listed here underneath the date. And I have my phone icons up here and and I have a dial tone, and if I do a little test, Seven, one. I'm getting uh, sound. So that is it. Uh, once you're connected there, you're good to go. You've got your Wi-Fi icon, and you're all set. If you have any trouble with this, give us a call, 423-509-8000, uh, or a text, or you can email our support at wizopia.com. For some of you asking out there, is there a way to log into the phone and enter the password? Uh, you know, in a web browser instead of having to do it the old fashioned, you know, keypad way. Uh, there are, we can do a remote session with you, log into the phone and, and do that that way. It kind of depends on the complexity of your password is usually where that tends to be favored. 
Uh, another quick comment, if your Wi-Fi password has any special characters in it, uh, like an exclamation point or a question mark or a pound sign, you actually use the star key to navigate through those special characters. Uh, like I said, let us know if you have any questions or need any help, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.